I'm deeply moved by what I've learned about the Cleveland Foundation. A hundred years of service, and more than just what you did in Cleveland with this new foundation at that time, you started a movement that has swept the world, so now there are over 1,700 foundations like this. And what impresses me the most about it is that it is really a model that I tried to follow some years ago when my wife and I were creating a foundation, the America's Promise Alliance, and it is just like the Cleveland Foundation in that it is an alliance, an alliance of people coming together, an alliance of those who have means and those who have perhaps lesser means but are willing to share what they have and coming together for a purpose. You heard Ron just talk about a purpose. Every group of human beings coming together in an organization such as yours or every other organization I've been in has to have a purpose, something that you are doing outside of yourself, something that you are doing for the community of which you are part and which has given so much to you. And one of the things I especially like about the Cleveland Foundation is that you have been very socially progressive. You took on issues that were not that popular at the time. You took on challenges that could have easily been, oh, let somebody else worry about that, or why should we get in trouble, or why should we have controversy in our community? Let's just keep rolling right along. But no, that was not the purpose of the Cleveland Foundation. You took on the tough ones, and you should feel so proud of this centennial. I'm especially moved by what you're focusing on because it's exactly the same model that I have been focusing on in recent years of my life. Education, economic growth, energy, and the environment. If you can solve those four, you pretty much can solve most of the problems that exist in the world. So we reduced the number of high school dropout factories that we had from about 2,200, 10 years ago, schools that were producing nothing. It's down to about 1,000 now, and we're going after that 1,000. They can be fixed. It is not an impossible problem. Because you're poor, because you're minority, because you're living in an inner city does not doom you to failure as long as there are people in your community like this foundation that are willing to come in and help you by providing alternate opportunities for education. That's why what you're doing is so very important. Jobs to the needy people of the world is the most important thing you can give them. With jobs, you bring dignity in the home with a paycheck. You bring an opportunity for education, for health care, for food on the table. And so you get jobs through creation of wealth. We can't destroy our world in doing this. We have to make sure that we're using energy in a way that is efficient, that we conserve as much energy as possible, and that we make sure that we're paying the right price for energy. I am not, you know, an Al Gore energy type. I don't know enough about it. I don't know the science well enough, but I know this, just watching. If we can do something to reduce the amount of stuff we throw in the air, that ought to be good. So let's get about doing it. And let's find alternative sources of energy to do it with. <laughs> but above all, build that relationship of respect and trust. It's what keeps an organization together. Relationship and trust. It's what's kept this organization together for 100 years. And that's why you're being congratulated. All of you each individually and collectively are this foundation. And you're never going to give up because you believe in what you're doing. You're believing in the purity of the purpose that you were given 100 years ago. And that's why this country is so great. Because we believe in our purpose. Given to us by the Declaration and the Constitution and given to us by the waves of people who vote to come here to become Americans, not just to sit around, become Americans. As long as we never forget that's who we are, that's what this nation is all about. As long as we never lose the kind of spirit that exists in the Cleveland Foundation. As long as you all never forget the contribution you've made to your city, to your county, to your state, to this nation. And the joy you should have, that 1,700 others have copied it as well. As long as we never forget that's who we are, 
we will continue to be the leader of this world that wants to be free. Thank you all very, very much, and good night.